And Tracy, how proud are you of your husband? So proud. I'm just so, I've always been so proud of the work that he's done. Uh, it's so cliche, but we, we just really like each other. We're, we're, we're most happy in each other's company. And we make each other laugh. Michael J. Fox and his wife, Tracy Pollan, made headlines in 2021 when they sold their Quag New York residence for a remarkable $6.1 million and relocated to Santa Barbara. However, their stay in the neighborhood was short-lived for a specific reason. The renowned actor, who has bravely battled Parkinson's disease since the age of 29, shared in 2021 that the couple's decision to move was driven by a simple desire to keep exploring new surroundings. Michael said, We embarked on an interesting journey. We sold our house and spent a couple of months in Santa Barbara. Later this year, we plan to venture to Malibu. It's all about embracing change and experiencing new places. Plus, without any school pickups to adhere to, we have the freedom to roam. Michael and Tracy also long owned a custom estate in New England, which they built in 1997 while they were raising their children. This mansion boasts 5,000 square feet, along with six beds, five baths, and an additional carriage house. Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollan's love story is one that has withstood the test of time, challenges, and triumphs. Their journey together began in the early 1980s when they met on the set of the hit TV series Family Ties, where Paul and guest starred as Alex P. Keaton's girlfriend. Their on-screen chemistry soon blossomed into a real-life romance, and in 1988, they exchanged vows in a private ceremony surrounded by family and friends. Throughout their three-decade-long marriage, the pair welcomed four children together, Sam, Aquina, Schuyler, and Esme. Fox and Pollen have also navigated life's ups and downs with unwavering love and support for each other through all those years. Together, they've weathered numerous storms, including Fox's life-changing diagnosis of Parkinson's disease at the age of only 29. However, rather than allowing the disease to define him, Fox chose to confront it head-on becoming a beacon of hope and inspiration for millions around the world. Throughout his journey with Parkinson, Fox has been open and candid about his struggles, using his platform to raise awareness, advocate for research funding, and destigmatize the disease. His courage in the face of adversity has earned him widespread admiration and respect, while his positive outlook and spirit have inspired countless individuals living with Parkinson's. Central to Fox's journey has been the unwavering support of his wife, Tracy. From the moment of his diagnosis, Tracy has been by his side, offering love, encouragement, and support every step of the way. Together, they face the challenges of Parkinson's with grace, humor, and a deep sense of partnership demonstrating the power of love and commitment. Tracy has definitely been his rock, giving him comfort and strength during the most difficult moments in celebrating his victories, no matter how small. She's also played a vital role in Fox's advocacy efforts. Together, they have established the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, which has become the largest nonprofit funder of Parkinson's research in the world, dedicated to finding a cure for the disease. Despite the challenges, posed by Fox's health condition, the couple has remained steadfast in their commitment to each other. As devoted parents to their four children, the couple has also prioritized creating a loving and nurturing home environment. In the past, Michael J. Fox and his wife Tracy lived in a Manhattan apartment, which they opened the doors to for Architectural Digest many years back in 2012. This stylish home was said to have gorgeous views of Central Park, and the couple eventually renovated the apartment with the help of interior design company Gomez Associates. Michael and Tracy used to live in Quab, New York, which is an area in the Hamptons, and they lived here with their four kids. The couple bought this sprawling residence for $6.3 million in 2008 and later sold it for $6.1 million in 2021. Their Hamptons home boasts six bedrooms and 7.5 bathrooms throughout, as well as a shingle-style exterior and classic white East Coast look. Michael and Tracy's longtime home here was situated on just over an acre of land, and aside from the main mansion, which boasted 4,500 square feet of space, there was also a 250 square foot guest cottage on the property. When walking in, guests are greeted by a spacious main liberal living room with a panoramic garden view, a stunning stone fireplace, and multiple seating areas. In fact, that's just one of seven fireplaces throughout the residence. This space flows seamlessly into a gourmet chef's kitchen equipped with double sinks, Viking appliances, a built-in refrigerator, dishwasher, 
dishwasher and wine fridge. Next to the kitchen, there's a cozy breakfast nook leading to a rear enclosed deck making for a charming outdoor dining experience. Also on this level of the former Fox family home, you'll find a formal dining room with ample seating for eight and another fireplace, a master suite with outdoor access and a library TV area with yet another fireplace. Moving up to the second level, you'll discover a large sunlit office that boasts a drink fridge along with panoramic views and access to a deck overlooking the yard. Also on this floor are three ensuite bedrooms, including another master suite with stone fireplace and double walk-in closet, all overlooking Quantic Bay. An additional ensuite bedroom with private deck is also situated in a separate wing. Then on the lower level of the house, you'll find a bedroom, bathroom, large wine cellar, TV area, and a private movie theater. When it comes to the grounds, Outside, you can indulge in outdoor entertainment or relaxation at the heated gunite pool with jacuzzi. Surrounding it all is stunning landscaping and lush gardens. Finally, Michael and Tracy also built a gorgeous home further down the East Coast back in 1997. The couple designed a home in New England, set up on nearly 80 acres of sprawling land. Michael's vision for the overall design of the home was inspired by a happy childhood memory of his when he visited an estate in British Columbia, Canada at the age of 10. He said in an interview back in 2000 about the estate, I'd never seen anything like it. When I asked the lady who lived there why they built it that way, she said I wanted to stand in the middle of the room, call out my children's names, and have them be able to hear. I also want them to answer me from any room in the house. Something about that struck me as a great idea. I never forgot it. Fox and his wife built this property as an oasis for their family, and it was the opposite of Hollywood glamour. While it was spacious as can be at 5,000 square feet, it also had a rustic charm and welcoming cozy vibe. The home located in Sharon, Connecticut was the perfect place for the Fox family to get away from the city. The ideal blend of rustic charm and airiness, the house is the quintessential New England estate and was long a place for the actor's family and their relatives to get together. So much so that the home was actually built next door to Tracy's parents while her brother and sister also lived nearby. Michael had frequented the lush property for years and when a home development he swiftly purchased this entire estate when he was envisioning the home's design from scratch michael prioritized creating a grand yet cozy great room a concept that he had cherished since childhood while open concept living is now popular it was actually rare 40 years ago especially outside of new england Fox's New England home offered up six bedrooms and five baths, with the guest room above a carriage house rather than inside the main home. The great room which Fox envisioned materialized into a multifunctional space with colossal fireplace for gathering, a comfortable sitting area for games and entertaining, and a dining area. These spaces are framed by dramatically high ceilings with exposed beams offering a warm and inviting atmosphere. A specially designed needlepoint carpet sits in the great room, complementing its timeless appeal. From this central hub, the family bedrooms branch out alongside charming spaces for conversation and hanging out. Michael described this home's aesthetic as honest, emphasizing its genuine and welcoming ambiance. Over in the kitchen, this room is equipped with spacious island and chef-grade appliances, while it still reflects the same rustic elegance found through the home. Fox, who grew up mostly in army housing, said his country home is as much about what's outside as what's inside. Outside, the shingled residence boasts a large balcony overlooking the grounds, complete with a pond and wooded area. Additional amenities include a swimming pool, the carriage house, and a charming fishing shack by the pond, which also doubled as Michael's lighthouse, as he liked to call it. Constructed during a period of private grappling with Parkinson's disease, this New England home served as a therapeutic refuge for Michael. Though the country house was everything he and Tracy dreamed of, they actually decided to put it on the market in September 2016 for a listing price of $4.25 million. After the sale of their home in the Hamptons in 2021, Michael and Tracy made a move to Santa Barbara, California, but their stay was brief. Michael said, we did an interesting thing. We sold our house and we went to Santa Barbara for a couple of months. We're going to do Malibu later this year and hang out. We don't have anybody to pick up at school. 
At the time, all four of the Fox children had already moved out on their own, making Michael and Tracy empty nesters. However, the doting parents loved getting together for family time as much as possible. And Michael added about his kids, I have a great family, my kids are spectacular, and they apply their energy to change and making things better. You should see our family text chain. It goes on forever. So while we don't know exactly where Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollen are currently calling home, their homes have been more than just physical spaces. Their retreats for their family. Their homes have witnessed the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and setbacks of their shared journey, serving as witnesses to the strong bond. And through it all, Michael and Tracy have found solace and strength in each other, facing life's challenges with grace and resilience. Well, that wraps up today's video. Answer this question for me before you go. Where is a place that would bring you peace if you were struggling with a certain health condition? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.